Hi again, I'm Sean Collins, and I'm the eSports reporter with the Dallas Morning News covering Optic Texas of the Call of Duty League. Just wanted to bring my updated power rankings uh, after the first weekend of Stage 3. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you disagree or you really agree with the pick, leave a comment. Uh, but yeah, just getting straight into it because there were a few changes. Um, Nothing with the S tier. Optic Texas, I think, is still the only S tier team right now, which is a little bit surprising after uh, the the pro loot change. I mean, he's just fit in so well. Uh, they're sweeping teams and they're looking dominant while doing so. Uh, I can't put Atlanta Phase up there until they, I think, beat Optic Texas or they win a major. Um, if there was another team that I would put up in uh, S tier if I absolutely had to, it would be Phase. Um, but right next to FaZe is the New York Subliners. I think that uh, those guys are looking much better with Kismet. They did lose to FaZe, but they trolled on a couple of maps, uh, in my opinion. But they're still looking like a top three team in the league, so I feel comfortable with them being A tier. I moved the Boston Breach down uh, from the B tier, or to the B tier, excuse me. Uh, they lost to the Subliners. They're right on the cusp. I still think that they're a good team, and they're going to make noise at, at uh, any tournament that they play in. Good roster, good rookies. Uh, the Florida Mutineers are kind of a weird team uh, to put in here. I think that they're still, you know, top five potential, but I think that they're kind of tied with uh, with the Ultra and Seattle and maybe even Minnesota right now. Um, but going into the Ultra, they're winning hard points and they're winning series, which is a little bit odd. They're looking much better than they were uh, even, you know, two, three weeks ago. So uh, the Ultra, I think that they have capability to get up into that A tier if they uh, keep playing well. Seattle Surge, they really rely on uh, on Pred and Sib to do well, and uh, those are two really, really good players, but when those guys are frying, they're winning series against really good teams, but they're also kind of blowing series against some bad teams, uh, just overall as a squad. Um, Minnesota Rocker got two sweeps over the weekend with Havoc in the lineup. They look much better. Don't know if it's just the honeymoon phase or if they're actually, you know, just figuring it out there and they're looking good. But I figured it was safe to put them up into that B tier from the C tier. And uh, I think they've got some room to move up as well. LA Thieves, I'm still not bought in. Uh, it feels like they're either getting swept or they're sweeping. Um, if you're an inconsistent team, I can't, I can't put you too much higher. Uh, I don't think they could go any higher than maybe uh, Seattle right now, best case. Um, but that that's that's where I have them still. They look like they can have a little bit more potential with Kenny on a sub, but um, I'm going to have them at the bottom of the B tier for now. In the C tier, uh, I bumped down both London and LAG. Uh, LAG just can't really seem to get anything figured out after uh, the Volk got GA'd. Um, you know, Spart's kind of struggling in some of these matches now. To be expected, there's growing pains, but uh, right now LAG's right in that spot. Uh, London, struggling. They had, they looked really good in the first two stages, uh, leading up to Major 2. Struggled at Major 2. Uh, they're missing Gizmo. Anyways, going into the Paris Legion, still have them in last. They're capable of winning series, though. They just need to be winning some more. They need to be winning, you know, at least, you know, two out of every four series for me to think about bumping them up. So, those are my power rankings. Appreciate you watching.